Thank you, Cardinal Dolan, for the years of using this sacred place to anchor our city in a spirituality that allows us to move from these moments of pain and take them to a mission of purpose. This morning we gather to mourn the life of Wilbert Mora, our brother officer and brother citizen. We reflect on his bravery. We remember his sacrifice. We bend our heads in solemn prayer. Hear us, Lord, and protect us. Last night, we were reminded again about the danger and overproliferation of guns that are carving highways of death. Even when the bullet hits the body of our citizens. The emotional trauma continues to rip the anatomy of our city, and the pathway never ends for generations to come. An off-duty officer was shot and wounded on his way to work. The work of protecting New Yorkers, defending our city, the work Officer Mora was doing he was, when he was killed in the line of duty. Those of us who have put on the uniform know what happened to Officer Mora could happen to us any day. I always reflect my brothers and sisters in the police department. Upon the day of my retirement and walking down and feeling the weight of my mother as she just collapsed in my arms. I realized that she did every tour with me, every night, every radio run. You wear the blue uniforms, but your families feel it every day, just as officers, Mora and Rivera family, feel it today. It is why we are bound by our oath and our honor to stand together and salute his service as we commend his spirit. Let us pray for Officer Mora and for his family and friends. Their pain is our pain. Officer Mora was not only a dedicated public servant, but an exceptional young man, beloved by his family, the youngest of four children. Someone once stated to me that it is unnatural to lose a child. There's nothing in our English language that is associated with the loss of a child. If you lose a spouse, you're a widow, a widower. If you lose a parent, you're an orphan. But we do not have anything in our English language that defines the pain and the unnatural existence of losing a child. To his mother, Amelia, we pray for you. We lift you up in the support that you need. And to his dad, Badwi, we know how intense the pain will be and will intensify every holiday, every birthday, every sound of your son. I thank you for sharing your son with our city. And you must know we share your grief and feel your sorrow. And to Wilbert's sister, Karina, and brothers Wilson and Jonathan, the challenges of losing a baby brother. We are your family now. We will comfort you and embrace you and stand with you in the difficult days to come. And to the 32nd precinct, his second family, I watch you at the night 
at the hospital. I saw how you embraced each other. And I heard you say over and over again, we tried, we tried. Yes, you do try every day and you succeed. You need each other more now than ever as you overcome this painful moment. Today we say goodbye to Wilbert, but we also thank him. The city thanks you, and from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. And every day that I walk the streets of New York, the people of this city reminds me, support our police and let them know we appreciate them. New York, New Yorkers understand the risk and sacrifice you make every day. And we applaud you for that. Our city is going to do more than thank you. We are going to give you the resources to fight this senseless violence. It is New Yorkers against the killers, and we will not lose. We will protect our city. We will work to end the gun violence that has engulfed our city with pain and despair and protect those who put their lives on the line every day. People like Officer Mora and his partner, Officer James Rivera. Wilbur was only seven years old when he came to our country, but he knew he wanted to be a member of the New York City Police Department right away. He was honored to serve and protect our city. He gave back to this country. He did it the way so many immigrants do every day, with hard work and commitment and dedication to be part of our American experience. He was proud to wear the blue uniform and serve the city of New York. He saved lives, but he did something else to really reflect on how special he was as an individual. After his transition from the physical to the spiritual, he donated his organs to five individuals who are now going to have life-saving abilities based on what he did. And so my brother and sister New Yorkers, this has been a la painful last few weeks, but the pain unites us in this moment. In this moment of grief, we will rise to the moment and the purpose. But I know the powerful feeling that we have in this city. It will give us the strength to endure and move forward, to do everything we can to end the senseless killing and violence in our city, to build a city of peace out of the ashes of fear. We will rise New York City because we are a city of people, of people like Officer Wilbert Rivera and Officer Mora. We will never forget their names and their acts of heroism. Officer Mora, our hearts are with you today and always and we know your heart is with us. Before I take my seat, I want us also to reflect on Officer Summit. In that house, there were several rounds that was in that modified weapon. It was an AR-15 under the mattress. Officers responding to the 1013 call was willing to walk through the door and face danger. If Officer Summit did not take immediate action, we would have lost more civilians and potentially more officers. When I stopped to visit him in Queens with his family and saw his commitment and dedication, I say to him, he's a hero to save the lives of his fellow officers. And I thank him.
And I wondered when I walked into his home, there was a question mark that lingered over his feeling and response that I felt. And I asked, what's next? He straightened that question mark with an exclamation point. He, he said, I'm going to put on that uniform and I'm going to go back. I'm going to protect my city. We will win this fight. We will win it together. Thank you.